Hello and welcome to this session, how to manage engineering change management in SAP together with the solution of OX for SAP. Engineering change management is a sensitive and critical process with any organization. The process relates to multiple phases associated with many partners and stakeholders within the organization and have a lot of variations and variance with, many, with different processes. The process is impacting and impacted by a wide range of activity within the organization. Master data management, transactional data, timelines and effectivities, approvals, regulation and validation processes, communications with many partners that should know and should be involved, documentation requirements. Engineering change management within SAP can rely on the following pillars. Notification, to manage all the soft part of the change, ECN or engineering change number to control all master data changes, workflows, attached document using TMS, and authorization re regime to control the segregations of duty. The solution within SAP is highly customized and configurable to meet various requirements of different business processes. The solution will rely on various notification types which may be linked among them in various links, ECN number to hold master data elements like materials, POMs, task lists, document versions, and other elements. The linked documents are going to be the tool to, uh, to attach various required documents, and the OX for SAP is going to help us with forms and Excel in the download and upload process from within the SAP. OX for SAP is an ABAP tool that helps us with the integration between Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel and SAP on the download and upload processes. In our example, we are going to use general notification as the soft data collectors for item, tasks, activities, statuses, link documents, and partners. The ACN record will serve as the hard data collectors for all master data elements. It will manage the effectivity dates, the linked affected objects like material masters, bill of materials, task lists from many types, documents, and it will be linked to the notification via an action box. In this example, we are going to follow the following steps. Creation of a notification, using OX for SAP to download the scope document, using OX for SAP to upload the Excel sheets, creating and assigning ECN numbers, link the notification to a SAP notification to manage other SAP processes, using the notification tasks as a workflow enabler, using statuses and change control for the monitoring tool, and the access control to segregated duties and the approved of these process steps. Within the notification, we are going to use the action box as the anchor point for various function modules that are going to support different business processes. The OX for SAP parameter level will help us to map multiple solutions and multiple settings for different function modules in a wide, wide range of flexible options. The SAP workflow is a highly flexible and configurable element that can meet complex business requirements and scenario in various options. The SAP workflow may use status changes, organization structure mapping, emails and work items, and customized rules. The workflow is always a listen mode to different processes and preset of changes within the system. We are going to use the workflow in a simplified way using a task sequence over the notification structure. The proposed solution is a coherent, comprehensive SAP solution that meets the various challenges and requirements of the engineering change management process. It provides an easy integration and reporting tool to MS Word and MS Excel. This is a simplified uploading and download capability from Excel to SAP via OX swap mapping. Workflow and activities are going to be based on a flexible task sequence on notification header flexible mapping from various business processes, 
and all these parts are going to be authorized by the SAP transport system between the dev, test, and production system. Let's see an example. We will go into change of notification in SAP. We can see the coding which defined the change type. We can see some short text, long text, some associated business partners, the action box on the side, and on the task level, we can see various tasks. In this case, there's only one at this stage. We can see some activities, and we can see the document flow that makes the link between our notification, sub-notification 1, sub-notification 2, and one engineering record. If we would like to jump to those objects, double-click on the object link, and we can see the change number with the various tabs of the materials, documents, POM of various types, and task list tabs. If we would like to jump to a sub-notification, bear in mind it's a different type. Our original type is type 55. Our subordinate one are type 51, and you may see the difference in the interface. The interface of this document, this notification type is a little bit different, and we have different list of buttons on this side. If you tap on this document, document flow, you can see its links to the master notification we have started from. We can create a Word document from this notification by pushing the button download X for sub files. All this action box are meant to create various business processes related to the change record. If we look at the output files that has been created, we can see our document, this is our number, and this is the Word document that have been created by the system. You can see that this document has some field map to it, it has the short text, it has the long text, and then it has a couple of blocks that should be mapped back to the SAP, like this block that will be mapped to activities, and this block that will be mapped to tasks for various partners to take part, to take the actions, and some risk assessment and other elements of uh, the change record and documentation that should be taken in place. Let's fill up an example. We'll create one task and one activity. For the activities, we should mark this checkbox, fill in some text. We can see the checkbox has been selected. This is the name of the code that will be mapped back into SAP. And this is the text that has to be added within the form. If we we'll go to the next section, in this case we will should map some other checkbox which will map to tasks within the notification. Let's we should choose the due date, in this case that date, and we can add text in this section. As you can see, Checkbox has been selected for the new design. This is the due date, and this is the lines of the task to be created. Let's save and close. Let's go back to the notification, and now we should upload the created document back into SAP. For that, we should push the upload process, the upload button, choose the created File, confirm those warnings, and save no notification. Once done, you can see a document has been added to the notification. A new task has been created. This is a task of, that we have chosen, a new design. But we can see also the long text. And we can see further activities. This is the new activity. 
with the long text that we have entered, line one, line two. Going back to the header, you can see attached document. Let's open it. To open it, to view it, we have to push this uh, button here. And you can see the document that has been created with the downloaded elements, the uploaded documents, and the various blocks within the file. In this case, this file is rather long because there are many blocks, but we didn't map all of them. Of course, in the end, we can have all the signatures and approval which will be documented as activities into the notification. If we look again on document flow, you can see the same link, the header must the notification and the various component linked to this notification. Let's see the behind the scenes, the configuration level, into the parameter we we'll push this shortcut. These are the parameters for mapping for the download and upload. On the download details, we can see it's download. This is the structure, this is the program, and this is the form. On the upload parameter, you can see it's an upload. This is the description, this is the structure, this is the program, and again, this is the form. In order to enable multiple templates based on various settings within the notification. We have the ability to choose different header ext extensions. And here you can see that the definition is the notification type, the catalog coding, the code group, the code, and the number of the action box. If you'll go to the item level, you can see a list of items which are the instructions how to map various content controls within the Word document back to SCP. Some of them are mapped to the checkbox, some of them are mapped to the long text, some of them are mapped to the uh, date and the uh, other elements within the, notification, within the Word document. For example, this checkbox, this item, is mapped into an activity, QMMA, mm -hmm with that checkbox and that is mapped to the item extension that gave us the mapping between the checkbox, the catalog and the codes that you can see this is the catalog this is the code group and this is the code in the case of the long text we have the definition of a long text we have the long text con content control and we have the linked element, so we know to which item within the, the, the CP activity report this long text belongs. And in the item extension, we can have the concatenation mapping of the key, which is the notification number, and the activity number. If we would like to see the lower level of the mapping, you can see the template name, the instructions of the template pass, some directories, and the mapping between the content controls on the file and the various fields in the structures of SAP. Thank you for watching. For further details, look on our website or on our YouTube channel. Goodbye.